Hello everyone and welcome to the letters B. My name is Bobby and today I'm going to show you how to create a clean looking audio spectrum without any plugins needed. We are going to start off the tutorial with creating a new composition. Make sure that the composition resolution is 1920 by 1080. Also, don't forget to make the composition duration just as long as the music track. After that, we are going to create a new solid. This one is going to be our audio spectrum, so we're going to change its name. Make sure that we are using the same resolution as our composition and change the solid color to black. Then, select your spectrum solid, go to Effects, Generate and click on Audio your spectrum. Now we can import our music track to the project. Let's add it to the composition and start changing settings in our effects controls tab. First we are going to change the audio layer and select the music track. Then we are going to change the start frequency to 1 so this way more of the song will be visualized. Also we are going to change the end frequency to 1500. Then we are going to change the frequency bands from 64 to 180. These are the small lines that appear in the audio spectrum. After that we are going to change the maximum height of the frequency lines to 2500. We can also make the lines a little bit thicker by changing the thickness to 5. Now we are going to scale up the softness to 100% and change the inside and outside color to white. After that we are going to change the side option to side A only. This way the lines will only appear in the upper half of the audio spectrum. Then we are going to add some glow to our spectrum. So make sure the right solid is selected, go to effects, stylize and choose glow. To finish off the tutorial we are going to add two text elements where we can display the song title as well as the artist and round things up with adding a drop shadow to the spectrum solid as well as the text elements. As a background, I would suggest a nice looking wallpaper or a video including blur so it doesn't ruin the visibility of your audio spectrum. Also, you can render the whole thing transparent and work with it in a different editing software. Don't forget to put on the audio while rendering the spectrum in After Effects and you are great to go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to support the channel, be sure to subscribe, like and comment so I can actually see that I could help you. Any form of support keeps me going and gives me new motivation to create even more cool tutorials for you guys.